today we're just going to be creating a headband. In this tutorial I will show you how to make your own headband. What you will need is two pieces of fabric, 47 centimeters by 17 centimeters, one piece of fabric, 28 centimeters by 7 centimeters, and a 12 centimeters of elastic with a bodkin and a safety clip. Okay, so first let's start with the, it's like a half a scrunchie we're going to be making. So place, get your shorter piece of fabric and just tack, fold in half and tack into place. along the tacked line. Now once you have sewn you'll have to turn it inside out and this is where I'm using a bodkin. They're really, it's really easy, it's like a tweezers and all you do is if you place the tweezers inside the fabric and pinch the end it's so much easier than using a safety clip especially when you're using something that's a bit thinner. So they are really handy and you can just get them from your local haberdashery. Okay, once it's pulled inside out, we're now going to attach the elastic. Place the safety clip at the end of your elastic. And follow through into the inside of the fabric. Remembering to hold the end once it's thread through. So again, these quilting clips are really easy. So you could just clip them in, into place. Find the safety clip again and just follow to the end of the other part of the fabric. And again, hold into place with the clips. You can just use tacking pins, but these quilting clips are really easy. just hold the fabric into place. Okay, so once the elastic is firmly in place, sew at either end of the fabric. Okay, once that's sewn, it should look like half a scrunchie or a scrunchie that's not tied together. Okay now for the bigger parts of the fabric so 47 by 17. Fold both parts of the fabric in half and tack into place. Remembering to always fold inside out. Should just be able to turn inside out if not grab your bodkin and just clip at the end and turn inside out oh 
Okay, now we need to create an X, leaving one part of the fabric under and then one over. And it should create an X like this. Then fold the one at the bottom first and clip into place. And repeat on the other side, creating a loop. So now if you place your, your half a scrunchie, As follows so you can notice it's on like the inside because this is where we're going to cross over and we're going to tuck in the end part of the elastic fabric and clip that so we hold that into place and if we sew along that line Just repeat the other side. So stretch out the end of the fabric and tuck into place. So fold over one corner into the other corner. Because remember, once it's sewn, we can just tidy it up with some scissors. So it doesn't really matter how we've crossed over just as long as it's nice and tucked in okay so once it's both ends have been sewn you'll see and then how I've done it is that you're able to fit your two ends of your thumbs inside and then you can just flip it through like so And there you go, it's so simple. If you liked my video, make sure to like, subscribe and give me a comment of what you thought. Thank you for watching, so Sammy.